The Interpreter in Residence program is a program that was sponsored by OSTP, uh, Office of Science and Technology, and the USCIS, the Immigration Agency. And what it is, it brings people from outside government, um, people that work in private sector or academia, and having them interact and be almost embedded with the, with the government team and kind of bring the perspective from outside government into what the process is for entrepreneurship, for startups, and for the innovation economy, and how does that affect immigration and you know, people coming to the U.S. to start companies. Usually entrepreneurs want to come to the U.S. because this is still the best place to grow your company. There's a great ecosystem where there is clear laws on ownership, on investment. It's also a, get, a great place where if you don't succeed at your first company, you can try again and there's not a stigma associated with trying different things. Every time you bring somebody here into the U.S. that starts a company, they're in effect creating not just their job, you know, not just taking their job, but they're creating dozens and dozens of jobs because they hire people, they grow, if they're ambitious, they start expanding. So that one person that starts a company could be creating dozens or even thousands of jobs. I haven't been a, you know, both an entrepreneur and an immigrant. I see a lot of the kind of pathways are not very clear for people that want to come here to start a company and grow, or either start a company or grow a company here. And I wanted to make it sure that my experience could serve other people so that they can get a better understanding, uh, kind of demystify the process a little bit so they, if they're coming here, they can feel confident that they're going to be successful. So some of the things we've done is we've actually visited the service centers where adjudicators look at the visas and we started communicating with them and we're preparing a training so that when adjudicators see a company that is you know, very young, doesn't have a lot of history behind it, what should they look for? What should they be asking the petitioner, petitioner and the beneficiary for? so that they can make an informed and accurate decision. Also creating a, a clear website where people, if they want to immigrate into the U.S., they don't have to understand all the legalese, what is this type of visa, what is the other visa, but really focusing on here's what I want to do, here's what I'm interested in doing, what is the process that I should follow. So actually I was born and raised in Peru, studied engineering in Peru, and came to the U.S. under an exchange program to study engineering under the Fulbright, uh, Fulbright program, where I came from, even though it's a really great university, just technologically, universities in the U.S. are significantly ahead of everywhere else. Then became a citizen, and actually in, during that time, it's been almost 15 years since I came to the U.S., I've worked in a number of high-growing companies, helped create you know, dozens, up to hundreds of jobs, and recently, about six months ago, alongside other colleagues, we started our own company, and we've grown from three to 20 in less than six months.